Hi guys and gals, I have an interesting story to share with you. This one is about a guy named Craig who I met not long ago at one of our Saturday cruises. Craig is the owner of this beautiful 1930 Ford Hot Rod. This is only one of the beautiful cars in his collection. This car has been fully restored. It's running a 327 engine. Nothing was spared in doing up this little five-window coupe. Custom seats, custom dash, all new gauges, and tilt steering. It's a fun ride. Even the running boards got the custom treatment. Well, that's enough of this car. Here's Craig. I've been playing with cars since I was 13 years of age. Bought my first one for 20 bucks, bought the motor for 20. It was 1947 MGTF. I sold it and traded for two other sports cars. Then the cars started getting, two went to four, four went to six, and then I was selling them. So I went through Jaguars, old Ferraris, uh, every probably XK120s, 140s, 150s, uh, every model, Austin Healy's, MGA's, probably everything you think of. Never played with American cars that much. It was always foreign until I got into the old Model A's. Not long ago, I dropped in to see Craig at what he calls his man cave. Actually, it's a large room where he stores and works on automobiles. The man cave is filled with everything he needs. There are even two lifts to get under those hard to reach places. I joined him in his man cave for a look around and to have a little conversation about his cars. This is Craig's 2010 Viper, the last year of convertibles for this car. It's running a 10 cylinder engine, all modified for racing. It has a factory race computer in it. Uh, different 30-way Coney shocks, different fuel bo uh, throttle bodies. Here's a look at the interior. That's a 5-speed standard floor shifter. This is one rare and valuable car. Here we have a 1976 hand-built Jensen Interceptor convertible, one of only 10 built that year. The factory was closed in May of 1976, but this came off the assembly line in July perhaps the last one ever built or nearly so. It's running a big block 440 with a few factory modifications. This is an air-conditioned car built in England but designed in Italy. Nice reclining seats and built for comfort. It weighs about 4,700 pounds and may be coming up for sale soon. Here's a 1930 Ford Cabaret, restored to absolute original. This car was originally built in Windsor. It still has a W2 for Windsor plant two cylinder head on the engine. And it shows that it's made on the firewall. It's a Canadian built car. And the Cabaret uh, has the wind up windows where the roadsters had the curtains. So this car is completely detailed from all the pictures we could see of all the museum pictures with the wood grain, all the stainless steel fixtures on it. In a single run, right now, 72 miles an hour, flat out. It's all as it came from the factory, including the storage trunk on the back and tire pump. The seats and door panel material are as new. With walnut coloring on the dash and other metal parts, this is perhaps the nicest and most correct 1930 Model A Roadster you'll ever see. It even has a rumble seat. Now, how about this 1929 Ford Woody station wagon? Craig found it in Kingston. The engine was rebuilt in it, but I was going to pull the motor out of it because I got another big block motor, and I was going to build this into the California beach rods like you see in California with the surfboards on the roof and make it look a little different. But I'm going to sell it, so I got to start another project that I have. Someone had already started work on it. This is a car I really like. It's a 1931 Ford pickup. A lot of work has gone into this. He's especially proud of the rear bumper cut from a single piece of aluminum. Comfortable seats in this rod. It's got tilt steering and a beautiful burled wood dash that Craig borrowed from another car. The handmade metal trunk and box bedding perfectly complement one another. This was supposed to be a two-year project 
but the COVID shutdowns gave Craig plenty of time to work on it. I'm practically done with it. <laughs> and uh, I had lots of time working day and working night working on this thing, so I'm 95% done with it right now. So it's just a few things. I gotta put the power brake booster in it and put the electronic speedo in it, and then I'm done with it. Looks good, and what's under the hood? 302 Boss engine uh, with the underdrive pulleys, runs a 750 dual pumper carb on it. Uh, basically, it's got a four and a half inch drill drop front axle, uh, and you can see the custom bumpers that I made. Uh, same with the, the vinyl top, the louvered hood. So it's painted uh, venom red viper metallic uh, with the matching gray to match my other car. Craig has even more cars at home that didn't get shown here. He's a true enthusiast. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for viewing. I hope you enjoyed this inside look at one owner's collection. Perhaps no car shows just yet, but we do have cruise nights. Until then, stay safe and keep on cruising.